So we are going to hope that while I'm doing this video, my dogs do not bark. If they do, I apologize. But I'm in the middle of working in my office and I wanted to show y'all, I'm also going to upload this to YouTube for everybody to see, but I wanted to show you guys how I run my office, how I have my business supplies kind of organized, how I can really grab and go and how I guess, you know, I just do this thing. Um, and I want to start off by saying it doesn't matter if you, your office space has to be in a closet. Um, I've had directors who have actually made their office space in like a part of their closet or if it needs to be a part of your um, living room. Like you can totally get Tupperwares and go to Target and get all the college things. You know what I'm talking about. All the dorm things so you guys can kind of see like different ways that you can like use a minimal space. Okay, so I have an office room, which I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I have my office set up. Um, I do keep all of my like bars and just stock upstairs because I have an empty or an empty closet. Um, and so I will walk up there at the end of this video and show y'all that, but it was unused space right now. So in the house that we moved into, so I thought, why not use that? But I'm really going to show you guys like how I mainstream and just flow my business. I'll go ahead and tell you if you are not type A, like don't get overwhelmed by the things you're going to see from me. I am type A. I like things done, ready to go. I like to move very quickly. Um, I do work from home, but I am rarely at home. I'm always on the go. I'm always moving and grooving. So when I have stuff that I need to mail out, I'm sorry, I had a call just come in. Um, but when I have stuff that I need to like just do quickly, I want to grab it and I want to be ready to go. So I'm going to kind of show you guys that too. And it's perfect because I'm in the middle right now of doing mail outs for my customers that ordered from the flash sale. And so you guys are going to be able to see like what I sent them and like how I organize it and all that good stuff. So let me start off. I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to start off by showing you guys my desk. I'm going to show y'all what's in my drawers. I'm going to show you marketing materials that I use. Um, I actually just got some new uh, stickers in that I'm going to be using for fall. Um, I also got some new flyers that I'm going to be using from here on out. So you always want to be thinking honestly in your business when it comes to organization, getting stuff out for your customers, you want to be two months ahead at least. And that goes along with parties. That goes along with um, just anything, honestly, because if not, you're always going to be working in the month of your business. And one thing I want to tell you, especially if you're a leader, if you're always working like for, say, for example, August comes around and you're like, okay, time to book parties for August. Time to make sure I have business supplies in August. And for August, you're already behind. And that's not how you want to run a business. And so let me just show you what I'm doing. So this is my desk. I'm going to show you a couple like key things, whatever your desk or office space looks like. If you don't have a Scentsy warmer that needs to be on your desk, I'm always changing my wax out. Like you need a Scentsy warmer. Um, the second thing, is I always have a charger. So you always probably, um, especially if you have been doing Scentsy for a little while, you need a charger at your workspace. Another thing that I love, this is a little phone stand. I can put my iPhone on it when I do videos or when I FaceTime my team members or customers or whatever. So I love having that right there. Um, and then over here, is pretty much grab and go stuff that I need to get very, very quickly. So you can see I have already made you guys scent of the month flyers and samples. These are felt samples. In the summer, this is the only kind of sample you need to mail. If you mail anything else in the summer, you guys, you're gonna, it's gonna melt. It's, it's a waste of your money. Don't do it. So even though it is not August yet, I like to get these ready to go so they're sent out. Okay, they're here. So I can just grab them. I can stick them in, for example, here. These are mail outs I'm actually doing right now for customers that ordered from the flash sale. I like to have thank you stickers. These are from the family store. I'm going to show you my binder in a minute where I keep all my stickers, but that way I can just go. I print my postage from home. I'm using stamps.com, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can always get a roll of stamps at the post office, but you always want to have stamps on hand. That's not something where you want to go, oh, I need to do customer mail outs. I need to do team mail outs. Yet you have no stamps and then you got to go to the post office. That's a that's like you're going to waste a lot of time. So that needs to be on your checklist of office materials. Um, and so I'm actually doing mail outs right now. Like I said, for people that ordered from the flash sale, I print or I print off their addresses. I just copy and paste from the workstation using Avery. 
because it is a lot quicker for me to do it this way. You're gonna find yourself, especially if you do a lot of customer service, which if you're building a business, you should. Handwriting is really hard, like it gets really tiring. So I print mine, and then when I'm done, I move them right over here, okay? Um, then uh, my planner is always out, so your planner needs to be as close to you as possible. If you're not using a planner, I'm not for sure what you're using to work your business, but you need something. Um, but I actually write down all my mail outs. You can see I do not play around. So if you are not using this, you need to be using something like Maven. So as soon as you're sending stuff out to your customers, you're correlating it with your mail outs, and I write down if I text them, okay? Some other stuff I have in here for grab and go. So I have my scratch and sniff stickers. And you can get something like this anywhere. I got it for TJ Ma uh, from TJ Maxx on clearance for like, I don't even know, like six bucks. But um, I have a little welcome to the team thing. I made this on Canva. Canva is by far my favorite app. These are little postcards. I get all my printables from Vistaprint when they have sales. Okay, that's when I stock up. Also, if you're a leader with a team, this is something you should probably have on hand, okay? If you Google it, you'll find it. Cincy numbers needed to promote it helps them calculate how to get to the next level. I like to have that on hand. When my people get certified, this is something I'm sending them now. Last but not least, up here for grab and go, I have my labels. So, I label all the things. Um, if you know me, then you know that's just what I do. These are small circular stickers. I get them on Vistaprint. I make them. They're templates. All right, and I also have thank you flat, like little thank you postcards. Okay, this is grab and go. So this is in my first drawer. So you can see my first drawer. And this is the deal. Some people are like, oh, well, Chloe, I'm messy, whatever. Well, guys, you can't be messy and run an organized business. There, you're you're going to be chaotic. You're going to be flustered. You need to have your things in a grab and go space. The reason all this is right here is because I'm always reaching to grab it to mail stuff out. So anytime somebody orders, these are my postcards that they get. I have pictures of like some of my closest friends and it literally just says the best compliment you can give me as a referral, okay? And so I'm always focused on building relationships, marketing to build relationships, and you can see the stickers correlate with the postcards, okay? Business cards, Vistaprint, y'all. On the back of mine, you can see, enjoy your free Scentsy sample. So I staple it right on the back. These are business cards. I got them on Vistaprint. Stickers, my stickers are right here. You can get these on Amazon. So I literally put these on all the things like scent circles, products, thank you cards, whatever. Now I'm gonna show you my stamps. And you can see I can literally just throw everything back where it belongs. So I can just put it all back. Well, it's really packed right now, but you get the idea, right? I just loaded, I just loaded this down, so it's pretty packed. So that is that. I also want to show in the back, I do have a consultant hand guide, okay? Because when I'm training people, I need that. And then I have product list flyers. These are normally stamped with this stamp. I get all my stamps off Etsy or Vistaprint, but this stamp fits perfect right there. I stamp all my product lists. Next favorite stamp is this one. Guys, this is your best friend. Go on Etsy and search Scentsy Self-Inking Stamp. I stamp everything with this. I have stamped all my catalogs. So you can see I'm running out of catalogs, which is good. Next month is the last month for these catalogs. But you can see down there, I have them stamped, okay? I love organizers like this in my office. You can also see I already have a lot of these stamped with another stamp I'm going to show you. That is a six by nine um, envelope. You can get any, I get all my stuff on Amazon, okay? Just an FYI. Everything, all the things. So, um, stamps, product lists, stamps for all your other catalogs, um, return address stamp. This is very important that you have one of these. Very easy to use. I also have this one. That way I can stamp all of the things. Got this one off Etsy. These are all self-inking, you guys, okay? So got this off Etsy as well. I can stamp all my things with that. And I literally can just throw them in here. I'm like, bye, like, see you tomorrow. So that way they're there, closed, ready to go. This is my join, this is like my join, um, Whatever. I'm sorry. I'm pregnant, so my brain goes away. So y'all bear with me. This is where I have all my join stuff. So you can see I really stocked up on these, by the way. They were super cheap. 
but I have my join info. I have my join brochures. Guys, you don't have to do a join brochure, but if you're serious about your business, you need join info. You need your story. You need to send people stuff when they want to join. I also have like a little join my team. It has information and those that know me know I use a lot of glitter. In here, you can see I have all my markers, all my pens, a catalog for when I'm closing parties, extra chargers over here, washi tape, scissors, stapler. Guys, this is very, very simple. When it comes to like grab and go and when I'm writing cards to my customers and my team members, I want it to just happen really quick. Over here on the right, my laptop, my coaching binder, and then underneath that, I have another binder where I have like material that I do coachings and stuff on. This is my sticker binder. Normally that goes under there, okay? So in the front, I use this two ways. I don't use Maven, so I do it the old fashioned way. So I have my orders in here in the front. Then you can see when I go to the back, I have literally all kinds of stickers for samples. I do freebie Fridays, so for freebie Fridays, if I ever would run out of my Mailer ink, I have some of those. I have my postage, all the stickers, y'all. Like I'm ready to roll. I don't have time to be printing off things all the time. I like it already done. Okay, so there's that. And then I wanna show you how I make my samples. Right now, like I said, it's very hot. And so what I do in the summer is felt samples. Okay, like I said, you can get them from 418 Dreams. This is clearly my sample warmer. I throw the bar in there. I dip the felt. I put them here to dry. I bag them. And then I go on Avery and I make my own labels. Guys, get yourself a printer. If you don't have a printer, I really don't know how you're doing all the things. Get a printer, invest in, in a printer. I recommend a laser jet. I know they cost a little more, but if you get a laser jet, you won't have to change your ink as much and you can print a lot of stuff from home. Like if you don't have, if you don't have the finances to like buy this stuff, even though you can get these super cheap if they're on sale, you can print this stuff at home, including your own labels. You can print them if you have a laser jet printer. Okay, so I always print off my labels. If it's scent of the month, I just stick a um, scent of the month sticker on there and I'm done with it. But that way when I'm done with this, y'all, I'm like, okay, bye. We're done with labels. And then I literally do this. I'm gonna show y'all what I do. I walk all this over here. This is like my filing cabinet. And I put my stuff down here. So the second row is sample stuff. All this is sample stuff. All this up here is like a warmer of the month product I need to go live with. Also have July scent box I need to go live with. Anything I need to go live with, okay? If you're not going live with your products to market them, you need to. Up here in the top right, I have address labels and just different things I use to mail. And in the bottom is all pretty much like just notes and extra stuff for my planner and all of that, okay? So there's that up here. I have my bulbs. Guys, you always need bulbs on hand. If you don't have these for grab and go for your customers, you need them. Stock sampling. I stock sample every single month. So all my samples that I make, including Scentsy Soaks, Wax, Laundry, Felt Samples, all that's up here. So when I'm packaging orders, I'm good to go. In here, this is kind of like my team mail slash um, basket party section. So here I have cards that I mail to my customers. These are products that I actually use with free and half off product that I put in bag parties. Okay. That's why that's right here. Sin of the month is right here. I sell a lot of these on hand. So if you're not enrolled in Sin of the month, you need to be. These are just little treats. I put in my customer orders to make them feel special. Bag party stuff. So explaining the order forms, Combine and saves, order forms, all my testers. So I am just getting all my stuff back right now for July. So I'm gonna whip them out in August and I can literally grab and go, grab these, grab my catalogs, grab some samples and package it with scent of the month and be ready to go. I can make a bag party in three minutes, okay? In here, if you have a team, I recommend like all your little team mail outs that you wanna do, have them in one place. I have all my team mail out stuff all in here, team and group, including my clear mailers. So there's that. So I can close it and go. 
Up here, I have all my like, like my scale and my paper cutter and my hole puncher. This is all packaging stuff. Packaging, packaging, packaging. Okay, you need to have that ready to go. And that is pretty much it. Um, I was gonna show you guys upstairs, like where I stock, like stock all my stuff for my bars and everything, but I think it's unrealistic because I have a pretty big closet and space where I can stock all that. So when it comes to your bars, um, I know some people like hang them. I used to be that person that hung them. I don't recommend that only because the bars can bleed down. Um, I kind of store mine flat. Um, and as far as, you know, keeping your office organized, what I'll say is this needs to be something you do every night, like before you go to bed. And, and you may say, Chloe, I'm too busy. Well, then I'm not talking to you because I was busy, but I ran a business and retired from my job and did all that stuff. So I'm talking to the people that really want to run an efficient business and that aren't going to make time for excuses. I'm talking to the people that are going to wake up 30 minutes early to work in their office space and make sure that, you know, everything's good to go. Because this is the deal. If you don't have a lot of time to work your business, you don't need to be working in a mess. You need to be working in an efficient space where you have your stamps ready to go, you have your stickers, you have all of that stuff. And so that is my office. If y'all have any questions, feel free to let me know. Like I said, I'm going to post this on YouTube. But the most important thing is create a space that you can work quickly in and that you can get stuff done in. Because at the end of the day, you don't you want to have a space that's like an all-in-one space that you can literally like print your stuff and you can label your stuff and you can in my scent circles i don't have any in right now by the way but my scent circles that i send to online orders are usually right in my bulk sample box but have your bulk samples done have your stickers ordered have your marketing materials when scent of the month comes don't let that sit in your office take it out smell it go live with it, make your felt samples, make sure you're buying more felt samples so you don't run out, okay? Whether you're making your own felt by buying an eight by 10 sheet and cutting it or you're going on 418 Dreams. Um, and like I said, I use Amazon to get all of like my packaging and um, my envelopes and things like that, I use Amazon. So organize your space. I promise you, if you have an organized space, you're gonna be able to work quicker. You're going to be able to just do more and you'll be able to see like what you need and what you have. All right, guys. Bye.